Hi everybody, welcome to ACE Engineering Academy and ACE Online. In this video, we will be discussing about an important internship notification that was released by NIC, National Informatics Center. Okay, so this is for the candidates who are pursuing third year. Okay, so this is summer internship program dear students and the last date to apply is 30th April till 5.30 pm. So this is one important thing you need to understand today up to 5.30 pm only the last date is there here for this internship. So to see this internship you have to go for dii.nic.in. So here you will be having guidelines for internship, registration for internship. So first of all let me show you the registration for internship. So once you click on the registration for internship dear students, so here you will be coming across intern registration so current pursuing degree so what is your pursuing degree be btech so he is asking us to select the stream it computer science ec so you just click on this one eligibility criteria third year of current pursuing degree so you can click on the checkbox so then you need to enter the name mobile number email id and confirm email id so you need to Click on send OTP or verify email. So you will be getting an OTP, you need to verify it. So then user manual is given here. So if you click on the user manual, here you can understand there is a 15 page user manual which will be helpful for you in registering for this particular thing. So no part of this publication may be reproduced in any form in an electronic retrieval system or otherwise without the prior written permission of NIC. So this is a disclaimer that is given here dear students and here home page is there student guidelines are there create new user account intern login for registered user there is forgot password option then DII application personal details academic details project preferences self declaration and track application. So all these information is given dear students. So if you go for track application after that you have acknowledgement letter, internship offer letter, then acknowledgement letter of confirmation, confirmation letter for doing internship at NIC validations. So like this he has given the complete details. So first home page http colon double slash dii.nic.in so there you have to go and here I have uh, shown you the guidelines here. So intern login is there, intern registration is there. So when you click on intern registration, then name, mobile number, email, confirm email. So that is what I have shown you just now. So then you have to see here, intern needs to enter the name, mobile number, email ID. The OTP would be sent on the email ID as entered by the intern. Once all details are entered, entered the intern can create his password. So login details would be login ID is email ID, password. So whatever you have created the password, so that will be there. So then you have to go for intern login, email ID and the password which you have kept and there is a captcha after that you have to go for login. So then if you forgot the password, so there is an option for forgot password, you can click on forgot password and change your password. So by entering email ID, so create new password and confirm new password. So then you will be having the application form personal details will be there academic details project preferences self declaration so personal details you have to enter the personal details after logging in so then address residential address upload the photograph and upload signature so all the details should be correct dear students so the next thing is academic details so select degree you are pursuing then current university details so all the information is there dear students you have to enter this entire information project preferences so which project you are preferring so AI modeling so project preferences state so you can click on the state here then save and continue option will be there <coughs> then finally self declaration so you need to click on the checkbox that is present here and save and preview you have to go for so then there will be an option for tracking the application so after this one after successful submission of application acknowledgement letter with an application reference number will be generated online 
which will be available in your digital india internship login account so that is what he has given here dear students internship offer letter selected students will get an internship offer letter in the following format in their registered email id and the same can be viewed in track application link after login in the application so after logging in so in the dashboard you can see this offer of internship if you get the internship offer or for your email id also they will send this internship offer letter okay so now let me go for the guidelines of internship here dear students so here there is a document of five pages you can see an internship is an opportunity for a student to secure first hand and practical work experience under the guidance of a qualified and experienced supervisor or mentor it also aims at active participation in the learning process through experimentation and putting into practice the knowledge acquired in the classrooms so that is what he has given about nic he has given the information there are certain definitions now coming to the eligibility criteria this is very important dear students so here you can observe carefully indian students from recognized universities in india who have secured at least 60% of marks so at least 60% of marks in the last held degree or certificate exam and pursuing be btech me mtech mca msc electronics msc computer science msc it so doe acc b level shall be eligible so possessing minimum qualifications as above shall not guarantee internship at nic that is what you need to understand the students who are in the last semester or who will pass out in summer 2025 will not be eligible for the internship so that means the persons who have completed their fourth year that means they are writing their examinations and their fourth year will be completed they are not eligible to apply only third year students in a dual degree program if a person is studying fourth year so they can apply that is what he is mentioning here eligibility criteria so here you can see be btech third year be btech lateral third year mem tech first year candidates mca second year and dual degree courses mem tech fourth year then devo e acc b level diploma graduation or devo e acc a level people can apply for this internship so that is what he has said so duration of internship so duration of internship will be for 2 months dear students extendable up to 3 months depending upon the performance of the candidate requirement of nic and time the intern is willing to spend with nic summer internship will start from 2nd june 2025 so this internship will start from 2nd june 2025 dear students and here broad area of internship so he has given blockchain technology cloud computing artificial intelligence and machine learning micro services data analytics angular react php programming devops chatbot iot then cyber security quantum computing and cryptography mobile app development open apis user interface user experience networking dot net programming java programming node dot js and gis technologies so total number of students required will be 20 here so place of internship the internship will be offered at nic headquarters new delhi and at various nic state centers so how to apply so already i have told you how to apply here so you need to go through that the interns will be shortlisted and selected by the respective groups divisions from for the concerned domain providing any false declaration of information will include degree which include degree certificate marks obtained is liable to rejection of candidature application so code of conduct the intern appointed by nic shall observe the following code of conduct which shall include but not be limited to the following the intern shall follow the rules and regulations which are in general applicable to employees of nic so any violations will lead to some problems appropriate action will be taken kindly go through these guidelines dear students and coming to the placement every batch of interns or individual interns as the case may be will have a scientific technical project supervisor mentor from nic the internship is neither an employment nor an assurance of an employment with nic so submission of report or paper work plans and work schedules should be 
developed by supervisor mentor at the intern shall invariably adhere to the same the interns will be required to submit a report on the work undertaken at the end of internship to nic so this is very very important dear students you have to submit a report so after the completion of your internship that is what he is mentioning here the students must furnish a no demand certificate to nic in the prescribed format after completion of project work along with a soft copy and hard copy of the project report so the certificate in the project report prescribed by the sponsoring institution the cover page and all certificates in the project report should categorically reflect that the project was work was executed at no demand so that is what he has given a token remuneration of 10000 rupees per month would be paid to the intern subject to satisfactory performance duly certified by the supervisor and mentor the remuneration shall be paid after the completion of internship on submission of report duly accepted by nic so certificates will be issued by nic to the interns on the completion of internship and submission of report duly countersigned and accepted by training division nic so these are all the important information that is given dear students kindly go through this the last date to apply is 30th april up to 5:30 pm okay thank you all the very best